Hi y'all, it's Mamaw Yates. I just want to show you today a, a new product that I've got. It's called the Mamaw Yates Ultimate Artifact Chart. So what I have done here is to try to simplify things um, as you're looking in between your handbooks and the documents on condition codes and, and all the various things that you have to keep in mind. Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming, especially when you're not used to looking at it. Um, this this artifact chart is mostly uh, best used for elementary uh, in the first three tasks. I do not have on here task four just yet, but I do have the artifact charts for one, two, and three. Um, it is really good for elementary, middle, and secondary ed handbooks. It will work for some K-12 handbooks, uh, such as art and music, uh, performing arts, uh, world language. Um, it could be used cautiously with early childhood um, and used to some degree with SPED. However, SPED's um, artifact charts are, you know, pretty different. Um, so what you get is uh, this user-friendly chart. Uh, here's the link to making good choices, a link to uh, information on your professional responsibilities, condition codes, evidence charts, um, a note here that the materials I create are to supplement official EdTPA documents, not to replace them. You should always uh, use uh, information from your own evidence chart. So, for example, I have suggestions through here. Uh, here I suggest that you watch a video that I've got on um, Context for Learning. Um, and so all of these links are live. Um, this one is a, a video that I've made. You click on it. It takes you to um, a little video that I've made about creating lesson plans. And um, so there's lots of live links. I tell you how, what the page limits are, some of the things that you need to know, like where do citations go? That's a burning question. Um, uh, each of these links are something that uh, takes you to something live that will give you information. Um, I do have also some audio links in here. For example, um, when you get to this part, I thought it was a little hard to understand. So you can click on this link and it takes you to um, uh, an audio link, which will give you me talking and explaining to you what to do. So it takes you all the way through tasks one, two, and three. You could use it as a checklist, for example, um, as you're going through and you're going through task one, you're checking, okay, got that, got that, got that. So you could print it off or you could have it up on your desktop on your computer. Uh, down here, what I've done with the task three artifacts, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy and hairy in task three artifacts. It's just pages of task three. And... So I've tried to make it a little bit more clear about what you do with written work samples or audio or video work samples. And I've tried to explain a little bit better about the um, task three feedback. I think it's a little bit better and about the language use files. Um, I talk about what goes at the end of each commentary, which that gets a little confusing as well. So hopefully it provides you just a little bit more of a, a, a one-stop shopping experience for EdTPA. Always contact me for any questions. Follow me on YouTube. I've got a Facebook page called EdTPA with Mamaw Yates. You can also find um, me on uh, tw uh, Twitter and Instagram and TikTok, all the things. Mamma is yet is at on TPT, all of it. <laughs> you have a great day.